Hi there, uh, my name's Dr Mark Frew and this is a piece of research that I've been conducting over a number of years with a good friend and colleague of mine, Professor David McGilvery from the University of West of Scotland. The research really focuses on mega events. Now, mega events are such as the Olympic Games or the World Cup and we've followed these since really 2006 in Germany. And what we're really looking at is, is how these fan parks and live sites, these are these spaces, these urban spaces that are being created out with the historic venues and events that people can't get tickets for. So you can go to these spaces, apparently free spaces, spaces of fun, frivolity, festivity, they're full of food and drink and they're big screens where you can go and you can view the games and you can have enjoyment with everybody else and all the different fans from all over the world and they're projected as a way of including the host nation more, extending the games, extending, if you like, the Olympics or extending the World Cup out to everybody. So it seems very inclusive. Although they seem spaces of freedom, of fun and frivolity, there's actually a very dark side to them. And that dark side is, is how they are physically and they are commercially territorialised. What we mean is is that they're highly arranged spaces, they're highly controlled, highly managed, highly commodified, highly contained spaces. From the minute people arrive in the host uh, nation, in the host city, they are funneled, corralled along particular avenues where there's constant brands are bombarded at you, whether it be Virgin or Coca-Cola or Samsung, you're totally bombarded with these brands to bum these things into your consciousness. These are spaces where they are driven by brand consumption. And that's one of the things that we have to we have to understand that you don't just engage with a mega event, you engage with a fan park or a live site that has been totally brandscaped. Whole street spaces, as I say, even beaches are now being given over. So we're finding a phenomenon taking place where increasingly, as David and I have noticed, that we're actually you know, we're, we're finding that the brandscaping is now increasingly going over the nation, state or cityscapes therein. And if you like, um, you know, the, the local indigenous population are, are basically, they are being told, if you like, this is going to happen whether you like it or you don't. So we're under the impression that these are somehow, you know, uh, spaces that have come to attend this great circus that has came to town, when actually what you're really finding is, is your, your nation state and your cityscapes have actually had to give up their sovereignty, their civic spaces, to this almost alien nation who comes in and totally territorialises you know, your country and your cities and then flies off into the, into the, the mists um, with a big bag of swag.